Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next week of Monotype Monday. This week, I am going to be facing two of the other Elite Four members in uh, in my league, and I am going to be um, doing these battles uh, live this week. So, um, hopefully, we have two uh, fairly good battles here, and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, what's about to happen. Now, this team I have here is not my Elite Four team. This is my team that I used specifically against um, Ozzy, our um, Flying E4, uh, specifically designed for flying teams. And uh, she has changed up her team a little bit, too, as their um, Yan Mega is usually not on the team. And I think Neuburn might be new to her team, too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my fortress to uh, get rocks up. Because, of course, having rocks up against a flying team is uh, it's pretty necessary. We are going to actually switch into Volcarona. Cause I knew, I know, I know what she does. She's gonna um look to whirl Windermere around with those rocks. So I need to get rid of the Skarmory as soon as possible. All right, good. Into my fortress, so I can spin away these rocks and uh, get rid of the Skarmory as well. So that's big. The Skarmory threat is down, and there are no rocks. Now, um, I am going to go ahead and just go for a, uh, rock slide since I have that on my fortress. Uh, we're not. We're gonna get flamethrowered. And the red card isn't going to do anything because I have died. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch into my, uh, Armaldo. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for a Rock Blast, because nothing on this team really wants to take that. I can live a frame thrower without a problem. And, uh, I'm only going to get two. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Jet for priority and get rid of the Neuvern here as well. So we're off to a good start right now. And now we have a Landorus to deal with. This thing is probably going to go for an Oh, Earth Power, which I live as well. I do have the Assault Vest on my Armal, though. I could have went for HP Ice there. I'm just going to go ahead and go for an Aqua Jet just to get off some damage. Ooh, that's more than some. 37 is a lot more than I thought I was going to get there. And my Armaldo is now down, but uh, Armaldo did some pretty decent work here today. I am going to go ahead... And go into my pincer. Go ahead and mega. Why do I only have three moves on pincer? This is only showing quick attack, X scissor, and close combat on my pincer. And that is not my move set because I definitely have return on there too. Yeah, mega's not gonna live a quick attack. So uh, that was that was a little risky switch there. Um, now Mega is down now. The Landorus is going to be down to quick attack too, and we just have a um, Charizard and a Thunderous left. I'm just going to go for quick attacks to uh, get damage off. He's going to go for a discharge. She went for the discharge, which uh, Oko'd me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into my, uh, John Mega. Maybe that wasn't smart. This thing could be scarfed. I'm going to go for the Ancient Power. Oh, it is scarfed. But the Ancient Power is going to be able to take it out. And... I am going to get my speed boost, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to outspeed the Charizard and be able to take it out with an Ancient Power after Stealth Rock damage. 
And maybe not. Yep, it's going to be enough. So uh, that's that's one uh, good game with um, Ozzy, our flying E4, which I have uh, just taken down. <coughs> and uh, next, I'm going to be up against Drix, who is our um, fighting E4 member. Ozzy, if you watch this, good game, good battle. Always a uh, always a pleasure to uh, battle against you. Next is gonna be Drix. For this one, I'm gonna use my E4 Bub team, but I do have to change one thing really quick. Because I know he has rocks on his team, I have to put rapid spin on my arm, though. Because his, um, his Tarakion, I'm pretty sure, his Tarakion has rocks. Come on, Drix. Drix. I don't know if I can pause on this. Drix might have been in another battle. I'm not sure. He's not right now, but he might have been before. Drix is, Drix is currently in the middle of making a team. So, um, we are going to let him do that. And while he is doing that, I am going to talk a little bit about our league. So, currently in our league... We have lost our champion, Leaf, and Shadow is currently alone as champion. And, um, we are going through some new stuff. Um, we are currently in the process of making an, uh, an admin team because our server may or may not be attacked again by Aldis. Because he has recently come back. So we don't know how that's going to work. And um, we just need to um, be ready and aware for that. Also, we are looking for more active gym leaders. Because our current ones aren't the most active bunch. So we are going through... Um, Recruiting again. So, we're going to be looking for a new champion, which is obviously going to come from within the league. Um, new gym leaders, and um, stuff like that. I get to be a test for Drix's new fighting mono team. <laughs> he said he's making a new team, and I get to be the test. Uh, so, in this battle against Sir Drix, um, Fighting Mono, uh, Pinsir, I'm just gonna make sure I have return on my Pinsir. Quick attack, return, close combat, and earthquake. I thought I had four moves on it. I don't know why the other one didn't. Pinsir and Yanmega are going to be especially important. 
against a flying against a fighting team. Why? Let me check this. Don't mind all my teams. Why my other pincer only see? Look. I I have X scissor on this pincer twice. This is supposed to be returned. I don't know how that happened. I don't even... Oh, because it's against flying. That's why I have x or not Earthquake. I don't know how that happened. I wish I could pause in quick time, but I can't. So this video might have to be put in two parts. Because quick time only allows 15 minute videos. Hmm. Is there anything else I could talk about? Oh yes! I can I can talk about the new monotype changes, um, which might not affect my viewers, but as an Elite Four member, directly affects me. Um, Shaman Sky is now allowed in mana for grass, which is it's huge for grass, actually, because grass is a type that it needed. Not a bad type, but it, it it needed the help. It needed help. Also, we have, of course, Aegislash allowed for ghost users. And, um, Aegislash, I don't know. To me, I never really thought Aegislash was broken and never should have been banned to Ubers in the first place. So, having Aegislash in mono is no problem for me. And then, uh, Mawile is, uh is allowed in mono as well. So um with those OU bands being allowed in monotype, they have decided to um just completely redo and rename the mon the once known OU monotype tier and just make a uh, monotype tier. So monotype is now a tier by itself no longer OU monotype. Which I think is cool. Because if there's going to be things that are OU not banned in monotype, then it should be monotype and not OU monotype. Oh, Drex is taking a long time to make this team. I'm trying to think. If his team is new, I'm not going to know anything about it. I knew his old team. Ugh. I knew his strategy with his old team. So now we have this new team. And I'm not going to know what to do. Hmm. Okay, guys, here we go with our second battle against uh, Drex here. Our fighting E4. And uh, he's got threats, basically, is all I can say. He's got a very good team.
He's going to lead off with the Cobalion. I'm going to lead off with my Omega to uh, start getting my speed boost up. Although the T-Wave is going to hinder me a little bit. Hinder my speed a little bit. I'm going to look to uh, get that as he uh, sets up the rocks with the Cobalion. Which is a, a biggest part of the battle. Because the rocks do kind of hinder my team. Here comes Heracross. I'm pretty sure he is running a Scarf Moxie Heracross. Stone Edge is going to miss, and I'm going to get paralyzed. So, uh, no harm done on that play at all, uh, on that move at all. The only thing that might be is, nope, I still don't outspeed, but Stone Edge misses, and I get paralyzed. So, we got, we got hacks in this battle here, as, uh, hacks are working their magic against both of us. Do I outspeed yet? Nope. And Stone Edge is going to... Be able to Oko. Now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt to uh, get these rocks away. Nope. Stone Edge is gonna take me out. I know I'm dumb. I should have brought in my pincer first. Yada yada yada. Oh, I got a crit. I don't think it mattered. Terrakion is next. I knew it. I'm gonna go for return. Stone Edge hits. Of course. I should've just went for the quick attack. I'm going to go into Scissor. Regardless of Stone Edge hits or misses, I am going for an agility so I can get a speed boost. Now I'm going to go for a Metal Claw, which I hope is enough to take it out. It still outspeeds me. Okay, that's cool. This thing is definitely scarfed. Hopefully we can get a missed stone edge, but probably not because he already missed two at the beginning of the battle. I'm banking on a stone edge miss so I can get health back. Nope. That's not going to happen. And now I'm down to my pretty little, pretty lonely hair across. Stone Edge missed. Close combat, is it enough? Close combat is enough to take out the Terrakion. And now we just gotta hope that hair across can clutch this one. Close combat is enough to Oko Breloom. Close combat is also going to be enough to take out the Infernape, but uh, to no avail because I know already that my Heracross is not living a fake out. So uh, that's a good game, good battle. Here are the tricks as I um, am able to finish one and uh, one and one against my uh, former E4 members here today for this Monotype Monday. I hope you enjoyed both of my battles against my um, fellow Elite 4 members. Uh, I know I did, and uh, until next time, good luck. Have
fun, and be safe.